the naughty side of gigawatt cloud storage. Let's take a look at our data-hungry addiction. In today's digital age, cloud storage has become an indispensable part of our lives. We store our photos, videos, documents, and even our deepest secrets on strangers' vast servers, trusting them to keep our data safe and secure. But what if I told you that our thirst for cloud storage has a naughty little secret, and it's not just online porn, but that's part of the problem. Our insatiable appetite for cloud storage is not just consuming terabytes of data, it's also consuming a staggering amount of energy. In a decade when the government asks you to consume less, travel less, switch everything off at night to save energy, current 2024 world annual cloud electricity consumption is enough to power the UK for 244 days and is not even powered by 100% renewables. In fact, the electricity consumption of global data centers, the primary hosts of cloud storage, is projected to reach 8.1% per year by 2030, which is the equivalent of one year of India's current energy consumption. This doesn't even take into account how ballistically energy-hungry AI will become over the next few years. Now think of this. 20 years ago, this wasn't a problem, as we mainly used the internet for email and surfing the web for information. Although there has been an increase in data centers powered by renewables, it's not keeping pace with cloud usage. Data centers do not work purely using renewables. It's impossible to keep up with the use against the power required from renewables to keep these centers operating under the carbon-free net zero banner. Of course, we are responsible for this convenient energy use gluttony. Our insatiable desires are to blame. A significant portion of cloud storage is used to store our online activities, browsing history, social media interactions, WhatsApp, FaceTime, video, audio streaming, and our shopping habits. But it's not just our mundane digital activities that are sucking up the juice. Our naughty little habits are also taking a toll. The adult industry is a major consumer of cloud storage. According to a study by the Cloud Storage Association, Yet they have a cloud storage association. The adult industry accounts for approximately 3% of global cloud storage usage. This means that our appetite for naughty, naughty content is adding an extra 5,859 gigawatt hours of energy consumption to the global grid each year. Enough to power the UK for a week. Sounds a lot, doesn't it? But it's not just the adult industry that's driving up cloud storage usage. The military is also a major consumer of cloud storage. According to the U.S. Department of Defense, the military uses approximately 20% of global cloud storage capacity. This means that our thirst for national security is adding an extra 39,131 gigawatt hours of energy consumption to the global grid each year. And that's just the stuff they tell us about. Let's break down the top 15 uses of cloud storage and the energy consumption for each. Military a whopping 39,131 gigawatt of cloud storage or nearly 110 gigawatt per day. That's 20.2% of the total usage. Cloud storage for computer games are using 28,351 gigawatt to save the planet in Call of Duty at 107 gigawatt hours a day, 14.1% of the total usage. Music is using 25,432 gigawatt. Most of that for Taylor Swift at 70 gigawatt hours a day, in an era when people are playing 12.9% of mostly autotune rubbish. Streaming videos is using 22,513 gigawatt to feed our Amazon, Netflix, Disney, and Paramount Plus obsession to own zero physical media at nearly 62 gigawatt hours a day, and that's just from the non-shared accounts. That's 11.4%. Storage for streaming uses 20,685 gigawatt. This is probably mostly streamed YouTube, TikTok content at 57 gigawatt hours a day at 10.3%. These are obscene amounts of mostly non-renewable powered entertainment. Website storage 18,856 gigawatt, 57 gigawatt hours a day, 9.2%. Storage for data analytics 17 to 19 gigawatt, 47 gigawatt hours a day, 8.5% of total. Storage for customer relationship management, CRM, 15,582 gigawatt, 43 gigawatt hours a day, 7.8%. Storage for file sharing. Torrance and the Pirate Bay. Great Scott, 14,142 gigawatt, 39 gigawatt hours a day, 7.1%. Storage for backup, Google Drive, OneDrive, 12,701 gigawatt, 35 gigawatt hours a day, 6.4%. Storage for email, 11,504 gigawatt, 32 gigawatt hours a day, 5.8% of hosting. 
Storage for Content Management Systems, CMS, 10,307 gigawatt, 28 gigawatt hours a day, 5.2% of hosting. Social Media, 9,443 gigawatt, 26 gigawatt hours a day, 4.8% of hosting. Collaborations, 8,579 gigawatt, 24 gigawatt hours a day, 4.4% of hosting. Business Process Automation, BPA, 7,892 gigawatt, 22 gigawatt hours a day, 4.1% of hosting. Enterprise Resource Planning, ERP, 7,205 gigawatt, 20 gigawatt hours a day, 3.8% of hosting. Cloud Storage for Adult Industry, 5,859 gigawatt or 16 gigawatt hours a day, around 3% of the usage. Total of 195,653 gigawatt a year. So next time you're scrolling through your social media feed, browsing for that perfect video, watching that new Netflix show, or accidentally viewing porn, spare a thaw for the planet. Our gluttonous appetite for cloud storage is having a naughty little impact on the environment. But there's more. The other interesting thing about this information is AI is a mere blip at the moment. So factoring in everything AI and the computer power required is going to have a significant impact on current studies.